episodes of Travel Hell 205 with our very own Dr. Falls. Dr. Falls is renowned microbiologist, apprentice under the direction of the infamous Josh Stormo, and is a leader in public education. And today, episode with future Tammy Traveler, Tuki. Let's get our first question. Dr. Foss, how could I prevent myself from being sick on an airplane for so many people in close proximity? That's a great question, Tammy. But remember, a vast majority of bacteria isn't pathogenic. And even if so, your immune system is an incredible defense against them. Think about it this way. You have traveled many times, right? And how many of those times did you get sick after being on an airplane? I would assume not many. That's because if you were susceptible for getting sick whenever you were close to other people, the human race would be struggling to survive. Having said that, there indeed are some pathogens that can be harmful to humans and transmitted through the air in your mucous membranes. In fact, your mucous membranes are the most common portal for bacteria into your body, especially into your respiratory tract. Airborne transmission means that pathogens or non-harmful bacteria are carried through water droplets or dust through the air no further than one meter. This can typically this can typically happen through sneezing, coughing, sweeping, or other cleaning tasks, which are then breathed through the nose. You have mucus that helps trap and even some contain enzymes such as lysosomes in your eyes that break down outer surfaces of bacteria. You have hair which makes entry more difficult and white blood cells in those areas that will attack if an invader enters. But if you want to feel greater peace of mind while on an airplane and perhaps be a bit more protected, make sure you wash your hands with soap and water after using airplane bathrooms and before eating. And to help the spread of airborne transmission, try not to cough on anyone. Please join your attention to monitors throughout the cabin program. Uh, Alright, uh, thank you Dr. Post. Uh, let's get to our next question. Dr. Foz, I always use hand sanitizer when I travel, and I put it on before I eat, after I eat, when I get on the train, after I get on the train, but I recently heard that hand sanitizer isn't very good for you. Can you explain why? Many people just like you use hand sanitizer for various reasons. It is an effective antiseptic and a disinfectant because it contains alcohol. But you are correct, it isn't always necessary or good to use consistently. The reason for this is everyone has bacteria on their body, living on your skin, but not harming you. The bacteria currently on your hands want to stay there because they have nourishment, can live, grow, and reproduce. So when other bacteria come along, they will fight for their home on your skin and are actually there working on your behalf because it is fighting off other microbes, possibly even more harmful bacteria. So when you use stronger chemicals such as hand sanitizer, it's not only just killing the harmful bacteria, but it also kills the bacteria that lives on your hands that was your line of defense. Now your first line of defense has been killed by the alcohol in the hand sanitizer. It gives the opportunity for the harmful bacteria to come and take up residency and possibly penetrate your skin. It is best to stick with the trusty and true hand washing method with hot, soapy water. Soap is a surfactant and it helps reduce the surface tension of water so that it can interact with other substances. Surfactants are part hydrophilic, meaning it is attracted to water, and part hydrophobic, which means the opposite. The part that is hydrophobic will attach onto dirt and oil that has the bacteria on it and then wash it away with the hydrophilic ends, stays at the water as you rinse. In general, use hot water and soap for hand washing, for everyday de-germing, and use stronger methods such as alcohols, iodine, and hand sanitizers when you need just a bit more added protection for you and others. Dr. Foss, could I catch the bird flu from all these birds? Bird flu is a viral infection spread from bird to bird. The scientific name of bird flu is H5N1. It's deadly to most, but not all birds and it's deadly to humans and other mammals that catch the virus from birds. Since the first human case in 1997, H5N1 has killed nearly 60% of the people who have been infected. 
But unlike human flu bugs, H5N1 bird flu does not spread easily from person to person. The very few cases of human to human transmission have been among people with exceptionally close contact. Okay, so Dr. Pearls, um now we're talking about bird flu, and I want to uh, know how is it unlikely for us to catch the bird flu and why? People catch bird flu by close contact with birds or bird droppings. People don't catch the virus from eating fully cooked chicken or eggs. It is dangerous to people who slaughter chickens, pluck their feathers, and cook infected chickens. Anyone who sells raw meat of infected birds in the market and who attends a cockfighting match because cock fighting cocks spray blood into the air. Or you could get infected by consuming raw duck blood soup. Can we catch bird flu from another person, doctor? As long as the bird flu virus doesn't change into human flu virus, it won't spread in people. But sometimes after close personal contact, a person who gets bird flu does infect another person. Doctor, uh, is there a bird flu vaccine available at the doctor's office so we can get before we go traveling? Yes, on April 17, 2007, the FDA announced its approval of the first vaccine to prevent human infection with one strain of the bird flu. The vaccine has been purchased by the U.S. federal government to be distributed by public health officials if needed. It is not made commercially available to the general public yet. I'm sure that it's news to many viewers at Homeland. Great advice as always, Dr. Foz. Okay, let's see how Tim is doing. Dr. Foz, I'm in here in a bathroom in a hostel and I'm wondering, am I going to get diseases from this toilet? Tammy, you're not going to get sick from the toilet because the skin is the first line of defense. The top of the skin is the most important function in maintaining the effectiveness of the barrier. The individual cells overlie each other and are tightly packed, preventing bacteria from entering and maintaining the water holding properties of the skin. Fatty substances called lipids are secreted by the cells during the course of the journey from the base layer of the skin to the top. These lipid molecules join up and form a tough connecting network, in effect acting as the mortar between the bricks of a wall. Another line of defense is the mucous membranes, the thin epilithium on the surface of the mucous membrane provides a less effective barrier to the entrance of pathogens than the multiple layers of dead skin cells found on the skin surface. Nevertheless, the epilithical cells of the mucous membranes are tightly packed and prevent entry of many pathogens, and the cells are continually shed and then replaced via cytokinesis of stem cells, which are generative cells. Capable of dividing to form daughter cells of various types, one effect of such shedding is that it carries attached microorganisms away. Hair is one of the more immediate lines of defense, such as eyelashes or nose hair, that stop dirt and possible pathogens from entering your body. Okay, great. Uh, now our next question from Tammy may be disturbing from the brute and proper. Viewers' discretion is advised. Dr. Foz, I've eaten a lot of food, but I think I got food poisoning. Dr. Foz, now we come to food poisoning. Uh, last night, Tammy got sick to her stomach from food. Could you tell us which uh, bacteria cause food poisoning and what we could do to prevent getting sick from food poisoning? Sure. First of all, it occurs when you swallow food or water that has been contaminated with certain types of bacteria, parasites, viruses, or toxins. Most cases of food poisoning
come in Dr. Post and we hope to see you next time. My pleasure. Thank you. Thank you.